Nana Akua, a presenter on GB News, just spill the tea on what she would have loved to have happened to her, on her dream in life, on what she would have wanted to happen to her. And my family, I want you to hear yourself what Nana Akua said what she would have loved to have been in life. My family, can you please hear this, and please? Me. I would love to be royal. I would just, I'd have the crown, I'd have all the clothes, I would shake as many hands, I would just, wouldn't you? I mean, what, 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 you would be like, I just want to go back to my boring old, what is it that she does, the tig and stuff. No, I would, I would have gone there, and I would think, I need... My family, you have two people who are so hateful towards Megan having a conversation on my family about how they would have loved to be royals on live TV. And they are mocking Megan, her new commercial venture. They are mocking Megan's new commercial venture. And once again, they do this to try and present royalty as being everything. They're like, why would Megan say no to this? To being a royal? We would have loved to be royals ourselves. Why would Megan say no to this? Essentially, my family, that's what Nana Kua and Angela Levin are complaining about. Because Megan say no to what they would give anything to be a part of. Megan said not all of that and said, you know what? I've seen what life is like here and I am not happy here. I'm leaving. I'm going back home to California and my husband and my child, they're coming with me and Megan fled the UK. You know, first she and Harry went to Canada, my family, and then they went to California after they were stripped of the security by Charles and William. And my family, the thing is, they're so bitter, so angry, so pissed off at Megan because they feel like Megan somehow destroyed their fantasies. Let's be clear on this. It is Harry himself who fell in love with Megan. It is Prince Harry who told us how, first of all, he was able to see Megan. Harry told us he saw a friend called Violet posting a picture of my family, you know, of Megan, basically with uh, those Snapchat filters, my family. When Harry saw the first picture of Megan having basically, you know, a Snapchat filter with her friend Sarah Raffetti. Harry was interested in my family, the person who was behind those, you know, Snapchat filters. And that person so happened to be Megan. It is Harry who reached out to Megan, my family. It is Harry who asked his friend Barnett, my family, to link him up with Megan. And his friend, Violet, who was also Megan's friend, told Harry, other guys have also asked me about her. Harry is the one who fell in love with Megan first. My family. In fact, Harry was the one who told Megan, I love you first. As Harry said. And then he was relieved when Megan also said, I love you too. Prince Harry fell in love with Megan and he chose her to be the mother of his kids, to bear his children, to be his wife, you know, to be his princess. That's what Harry did. Harry was never ever going to fall in love with someone like Nana Akua or Angela Levin. 
He was never ever going to do that. My family. And my family, they are very, very different people in this world. For Meghan, when she married Prince Harry, she endured so much vile abuse, insults, racism, to the point she thought of taking her own life. Meghan knows what life in the royal family is like. And she experienced hell. But people like Nana Akua and Angela Levin, my family, basically they're angry because Megan said no to that life. Because to them, what they're saying is that they are willing to put up with anything thrown at them. Just as long as they are members of the royal family. Just as long as they are in the raw fold. Now, if you don't value yourself as a person, like how Nana Akua and Angela Levin don't value themselves. I mean, Nana Akua writes columns for the Daily Mail. Of course, she doesn't value herself. Nana Akua spreads hate for a living. Of course, even she does not value herself. So if they don't value themselves, then why are they telling Megan? Megan, you know what? Also, you don't value yourself. You know? My family, Megan is someone who has a lot of self respect. She respects herself. She married Prince Harry, joined the royal family, joined the royal fold, and saw what life was like there. And she bounced. She, my family, left that life. A husband and a son, Megan left with them. And that's why carnival, all so-called experts, just can't stand it, my family. I mean, look at Kim Milton. She's missing right now. She hasn't been seen for three months, three months, ever since last year. My family, more than three months, Kate has not been seen publicly for more than three months. She's missing. But somehow, someone still wants to prop up that, you know, life in the raw fold is everything. You know, why would Megan leave it to go and sell, you know, jams? To go and, you know, restart her lifestyle blog, The Take. They say that to mock Megan. That's why they do what they do, to mock her. It's like that conversation about, you know, Megan, why would you leave, you know, being a member of the raw family to become an influencer? It's the same, same rhetoric, my family, that this carnival of so-called experts are spewing. Remember, these people, their job is to, my family, give good press and be, my family, the PR arm of Britain's royal family. Whereby, clearly, the firm, meaning William and Charles, have power over the UK tablet press. They can control them. They can command them to do what they want to do. So my family, these people are PR, are the PR arm of the royal family. And somehow they think that somehow by attacking Megan for rejecting life in the royal fold, that they're doing the royal family some favors. No, they are not. No, they are not. People are seeing what's going on in Britain's and royal family and they're saying megan was right 100 percent. i mean kate has disappeared for months for months she has not been seen for months but someone will tell you why did megan leave why did megan leave and the people who somehow believe or think that megan just put up with the abuse the insults the racism just to be in the royal fold just to have a tiara on her head. Just to attend, you know, state events. My family. Or state banquets. The people who tell you that are people who my family can't handle a fraction of the abuse or the insults that Megan has endured all these years. I mean, look at Kim Wooten. The palace can't even handle, even... 
gay mutants, you know, online trolls who troll Megan while pretending to be gay supposed fans. My family. Even they themselves, they can't handle a fraction of what Megan has had to endure all these years. They just cannot. They just cannot. They can't handle it, my family. If the palace can't even be able to handle people asking questions about Kate's whereabouts, if the palace can't handle questions about, about where is Kate Moulton, if the palace can't handle questions about where is Kate Moulton, where is Kate Moulton, if they can't even handle that, what makes anyone think that my family, Megan, should deal with my family abuse every single day to be in the raw form? To be back in the UK? Having her abusers around her? You know? Attending events that Megan attends? My family. You know, Megan should never ever do that. No one should tell you to put up with the abuse because they want you to fulfill their fantasies on what, you know, raw life should be like. Whereby no matter what, just be happy to be there. Be content with being there. Take anything that is thrown at you. Just put up with it. Just deal with it. And look at what happened to Kim Hilton herself. She could not even handle a fraction of questions being asked about where she is. My family, even the entire UK media industry, Daily Mail, Express, The Mirror, The Sun, even taxpayer funded BBC, all of them have come out to be like, stop asking questions about k abouts. This is too much for Kim Hilton. She can't handle this. She can't deal with this. And yet, the only thing people are asking for is proof of life. Is proof that she's okay. My family, that's all. People are asking for. But those questions being asked have been too much for William. Too much for the palace to be able to handle my family. Even trolls online themselves have been asking, leave Kate alone, leave Kate alone. Yet they have hate accounts dedicated to attacking Megan on a daily basis. To them, my family, they humanize Kate Moulton while dehumanizing Megan. And that is totally unacceptable. It is wrong. It is evil. And it is very much racist. My family, what they're doing. And because you, Angela Levin, and Anna Akua want that fantasy about, you know, to, of being a royal. You know what? Find yourself someone to marry you and join the royal family. And you see how it's like there. But if you, can't find, if you can't find someone to marry you in the royal family, then stop complaining about Megan. Saying no to that life. My family, in this life, you only live once. You can either choose misery or being happy. Megan chose happiness, not misery. Megan chose to live, to thrive, not to survive, to thrive. You know? This carnival of so-called experts would not be fired to see Megan taking all their insults or their abuse and just being like, being a member of the royal family. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. They will prefer Megan to sit idly by, to sit idly by, do nothing as she watches herself and her son Archie being racially abused and just do nothing and say, There's no racism in Britain. There's no racism in Britain, my family. They would have loved that. They would have loved to see that happening. They would have loved to see Megan denying racism in Britain. Irregardless of the fact that Megan is being racially abused by people who even work for different UK media outlets. My family live on TV also. It happens. But they would have loved it if Megan was, came out and said, there is no racism here. Despite the fact that all of us can see it. You know? They want Megan to just ignore the abuse. So badly, and just take it, just put up with it, just deal with it, you know, in any way. And just say, 
how amazing it is to be a member of the royal family. Listen, if you want to take abuse or insults, or if you want to be treated appallingly, or to be treated disrespectfully, don't ask others to put up with that treatment. Don't ask Megan or Harry to put up with that treatment. Don't ask Harry and Megan to watch their kids and your racism from the media to preserve your fantasy of what raw life should be like. Perfect. It is not perfect. Britain's raw family, they are not perfect, my family. They are not perfect. And my family, if you are marrying into the royal family in Britain, I believe in one thing. That one thing that you should aspire to, to be really is to just stay alive. Look at what happened to Diana, Harry's mother. She was just to her death. Look at what happened to my family, Megan. She was hounded out of Britain. Look at what happened right now even to Kim Milton. She had disappeared for months. You know, for months. They're saying that Charles has cancer. But Charles, you can see him. Even going out and even shaking hands with the public. You can see Charles. Why is no one asking why K. Milton also can't be seen publicly? Because there's something going on behind the scenes that the farm are trying to cover up. Because William did something bad and the farm and the community are covering up for him. Like they always do. You know? To cover up for him, to protect him, the heir. William has never ever been held accountable for anything he's ever done. And that's why he's turned out to be a very, very, you know, bad person. So my family, as you can see, some currents and some individuals are angry at Megan. Because somehow to them, Megan destroyed the fantasy of what, you know, be, of what or who being a role should be like, or what being a role should be like, or even who a role should be. My family, and they're angry towards Megan. My family never ever tell any single person in this world to stay in a toxic environment to please you, to make you happy, to fulfill your fantasies. Because in the, at the end of the day, this is not Nana Akua's life. This is not Angela Levin's life. It is Megan's life. And you only live once. Do you choose to be miserable like the late Princess Margaret? You know? My family was treated so supportingly and was forced to give out the person that she loved. And she was miserable to the day she passed away. Some people would have loved for Harry to have that life. They even still want Harry to have that kind of life. The life of Margaret. A life which even Harry himself documented in spare. That was clearly a life of misery. They wanted and still want that life to be for Prince Harry. And they're angry because Harry says no to that. Because Harry chooses happiness. Because Megan chooses to be happy. You only live once. Never ever make apologies for choosing your sanity, your peace of mind, your mental health, for protecting your mental health. Never ever apologize for protesting your mental health. And actually, the more that the carnival of so-called experts abuse Megan in particular and Prince Harry is the more popular like no, who would want that kind of life? Who would want that? Nobody. Nobody would want that kind of life. People are looking over to Diana, to Megan, and now even to Kim who disappeared, who has disappeared for months. And like, truly, it's impossible to be in this dysfunctional family. It's impossible. You know? It's impossible. And my family, 
under no circumstances should Megan ever give up happiness to please some individuals. Under no circumstances should Harry even give up his own happiness to please some racist individuals. Or to fulfill the fantasies of my family, some racist role is my family. Because clearly, you know, these people never ever wanted Megan, woman of color, to marry Prince Harry. And they're angry that, you know, she did. And on Akua, you will never ever be accepted in the royal family. And do you know why? Because of your race. You know? That's why they will never ever accept you. So stop imagining yourself being in Britain's royal family. It's not going to happen in Anakua. And stop blaming Megan for saying no to that life. Stop blaming Megan for saying no to that life. And the thing is, Megan, she had an amazing life even before Prince Harry. In fact, in Harry's atmosphere, Harry tells us of how he felt when he first saw Megan. That video of Megan, my family. You know, with the Snapchat filters, my family. Harry said, she clearly is free. I am trapped. How nice would it be to join her in her world? You know, her world of freedom, happiness, adventure. How nice it would be to join her in her world. My family, Harry said that in his memoir spare. My family. So Megan had an amazing life even before Prince Harry. Even before marrying Prince Harry. Megan had an amazing, fantastic life. Wikimedia may mock Megan's past. Her career. How broke the tick like what Nanakua is doing. But the fact is, it made her happy. It made her happy. Megan made $80,000 a year from the tick. Megan my family, was part of an amazing cast of Suits. Suits that has now broken so, so many records on Netflix. My family. So in as much as Wikimedia mocked that life, the fact is, it was a very, very happy life. A fulfilling life. And no wonder Harry said himself, he would have loved, he would love to join Megan in her life, in her world. An adventure. My family. Her freedom. Harry would have loved that. Even Harry himself, my family, said that. So yeah, some people may have these delusions of what my family at all should be. Of who the person should be. But guess what? No one should ever tell anyone, take abuse. That way you make me happy. That way you fulfill my fantasies about, you know, how real life should be like. Harry and Meghan are human beings. Harry and Meghan are human beings. Their feelings, emotions, their parents of two beautiful kids, Archie and Lily Diana. My family. It is not their job to take abuse to please your fantasy of what my family, you know, real life should be. To prop up what, you know, being a role should be like my family. No, no, no. Or who a role should be. No. Harry and Meghan are right in deciding, you know, their future, their faith, their happiness. And I'm happy that Prince Harry and Meghan chose each other and fled the UK. In this life, you only live once. Never choose misery, choose happiness. Because you only live once. Choose happiness. Don't be miserable for the sake of the farm. I mean, look at Margaret. She was miserable all her life. Especially after she was forced to give up the person that she loved. But, however, UK Media, they wrote, oh, she chose duty over love. She was miserable all her life. Miserable. My family. All her life. And Harry... The way he described Margaret in spare, it tells you of her misery. And the sad thing is, the farm and Wikimedia would have wanted Harry to have the same fate as Margaret. 
our life of misery. But in the end, they would have wrote for Prince Harry, oh, Harry chose duty over love. My family, there is no honor in that. There is no honor in that. Choose happiness. Choose, choose life. Choose to be happy. Don't choose misery to please someone else's fantasies. You know, never ever make such a big, big mistake. And Angela has always been so, so disgruntled, especially after Harry. In spare, basically, this kid, this person, as someone who clearly depends on him to pay rent. And Angela is always saying negative things about Megan out of anger because of Harry's rejection. Harry doesn't like you, Angela. And that is not going to change. It's not going to change. Abusing Megan won't make Harry like you. It won't. It won't. You know? And Anna Kua, Harry was never going to fall in love with you. Never. You know, no royal in Britain was ever going to fall in love with Nana Akua. Someone who even hates herself. She does indeed hate herself, my family. Because how can someone be so full of hate instead of them, my family? How? How? But sadly, that's how Nana Akua is. She's so full of hate inside of her. She doesn't even love herself. You know? To Nana Akua, to her, as she said, somehow, you know, the tick could be boring to her. But to Megan, it was fun. To Megan, it was fun. To Megan, she loved it. And no wonder right now, she has created a family, her own, once again, lifestyle luxury brand, American Rivera Orchard. Like the tick. To do what she loves to do. To do what makes her happy. What fulfills her. You, Nanakua, may not like it, but Megan likes it. She loves it. And that is what matters. Megan isn't here to please Nana Akua's fantasies. You know? You only live once. Choose happiness. And that's what Megan and Harry have chosen. And my family, I applaud them for that 100%. I applaud Harry and Megan for that my family 100%. So really, my family, as I've said, these people would have loved so, so much to be... To have the life that my family, you know, Harry and Meghan have. They would have loved it to have, you know, the life that Harry and Meghan have. They would have loved it so much. And they are so bitter, so angry that Meghan has my family, you know, the life that they would have, you know, loved to have for themselves. Meghan isn't here to fulfill Nana Akua's fantasies. Because Nana says that, you know, I would have loved to shake so many hands as a royal Nana Akua, if that's what you want to do in your life, you know what? Go ahead, find yourself a role, and then marry that person. But don't tell Megan to put up with your abuse, your insults, to fulfill your fantasies. Or, oh, if I was, you know, Megan, I would have stayed, because being a role is also important. Megan never wanted to put up with your abuse or your insults to please you. Megan never ever wanted that. Megan would have stayed if you weren't so abusive towards her. Megan would have stayed if basically you were not in the hatred against her. Megan would have stayed. You know? And you know what? We are happy that she fled the UK. We are happy that she lives in, you know, Montecito with Harry, Archie, Lilibet. Megan is going to be, you know, is going to keep on thriving there. Being happy there. And wish Megan all the best in all of her future endeavors. You know? And my family, it's a tax on uh, Megan's, you know, lifestyle, luxury brand, and Megan Rivera Orchard is out of jealousy and envy. You know? And fear also of seeing Megan make a fortune. You know? Be a royal and take abuse, insults, you know, race him, be broke, have no money for yourself. You know, borrow your father for borrow, borrow your father's shoes like well, how Harry, you know, would borrow Charles' shoes, or be financially independent, be able to choose your own path, what you want to do with your life, be free to do what you want to do, make a lot of money, have a make a fortune for yourself, and show your kids be happy, thrive, 
you know, far away from the abusive and toxic UK media. My family, make no mistake, those were the options. Take abuse, insults, racism, be unhappy, miserable, in exchange for a tiara on your head, or my father to be a royal, my family. And even on matters have to do with the tiara, I remember how the queen's dresser, Angela Kelly, did not even want Megan to have a tiara, to wear a tiara. She, she never wanted that herself. Even the tiara, they did not want Megan to have. But now that she has fled the UK, they're like, you know, Megan, you could have been here at state events, you know, having a tiara on your head, you know, why pick the life that you picked, you know, of what? Freedom? Happiness? Peace of mind? Being able to go with your friends? Being able to eat out with your friends, you know? Walking around your compound in Montecito, having a good time, you know, having a party with your friends, you know, in your home. You live that life to put up with abuse in the UK. The thing is, what UK media don't want to say is that they showed Megan what Megan can expect. Racism, abuse, insults, mistreatment. They showed Megan what she can expect in the raw fold, being around. And Megan said no to all of that. And she just happiness over misery. Megan chose to go out there and work to pay her own bills. Not beg Charles for money. Not beg William for money. Not put up with abuse for money. Megan chose happiness over suffering. And some individuals can't accept it in family. They can't accept it. You know? They showed Megan what to expect being a Roman family? Abuse, insults, racism. So why, should, why do they expect Megan to put up with all of that? You know? To fulfill their fantasies. That why would you live if you're in the royal family? Megan left. She did. She left there. She left the place. The, the place. She fled the place. And she's never ever coming back to put up with abuse, racism, and insults. Megan and Harry are never ever returning to be full-time or even temporary working royals, you know, in the royal family. Harry and Meghan are their own bosses. My family. And I'm happy that they're working to pay their own bills. Never ever to be dependent on Charles, William, Kate, or Camilla for money. Because if you're begging money from Charles, William, Kate, Camilla, it means you can be controlled. And my family, no one who loves or cares about Harry Megan wishes that for them and family. Wishes that for them and family. My family, now you tell me kindly who you are those about what we have discussed. I want to hear your opinion. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily, Bettina, and Doria, Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. Megan, say no to abuse, insults, racism, and UK media must accept it. Must accept it. And leave Megan alone. She said no to that. She said no to that, my family. And this is her life. It's she who deserves her fate, her happiness. Not the UK media, not the farm. And I'm happy that Harry Megan chose happiness and love over hate. Stay tuned to this video, my family. Love you, awesome forever. Now you tell me kindly, you are to support Nana who I want you to be. A royal, my family. I found an aqua dreams about being a royal. I want to hear my family opinion on that. That was never going to happen in Anakua. Never going to happen. And you are not Megan. Harry fell in love with Megan, not you and Anakua. And you've got to accept it and just move on. And just move on. Stay tuned to this video. Love you also forever. And may God bless each and every single one of you hello members of this Family tv first of all i want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel we don't take it for granted that you support this channel i want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices supporting prince harry and megan showing them love love will always triumph over evil and for that i say thank you good will always prevail over bad Thank you so much for all your support. 
Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.